Hello South Africa. Today is Monday, May 29, 2023 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Miner dies after inverter keeping breathing machine on runs of charge. A Bromhoff family in the city of Johannesburg has blamed Eskom after their 3-year-old girl died after the inverter that keeps the miner's breathing machine ran out of charge due to load shedding. Naimai James suffered from a rare form of neurodevelopmental disorder called Worry Syndrome which features drug-resistant epilepsy and global developmental delay and died in her mother's arms on Thursday, May 25. According to the Randburg Sun, the Bromhoff family was rushing to the hospital after the inverter keeping Naimai's breathing machine on, ran out of charge. The baby girl was using a backup cylinder for oxygen but was having trouble with this. Andre de Ruta's bombshell book breaks record sales. Andre de Ruta may be unemployed after being booted from Eskom, but the controversial former CEO is laughing all the way to the bank. This after his bombshell book called Truth to Power, my three years inside Eskom flew off the shelves in its first week of release. Two weeks ago, the brazen ex-energy head released a memoir detailing the widespread corruption and maladministration of the utility giant. Heavy rainfall, flooding in Western Cape from Monday to Wednesday. The cut-off low, which brought widespread thundershowers and showers to parts of the Free State, Northern Cape and Eastern Cape on Sunday, is expected to spread to the Western Cape on Monday, May 29. The South African Weather Service, SOARS, said the showers and thundershowers are expected to persist until Wednesday in the Western Cape and Free State, Lesotho, Northern Cape and Eastern Cape. Well-known EFF counselor found in a pool of blood in his home. A high-level team of investigators in Limpopo has been established to track down and apprehend suspects responsible for the murder of an economic freedom fighter's EFF counselor who was gunned down. The well-known community leader was gunned down at his home in Giebota village in Metalariking Policing Precinct outside Sekakon on Thursday night, May 25. South African Police Service, SAPS, spokesperson in Limpopo, Colonel Malasila Ledweber said 46-year-old Jonas Lebetsimpai was shot and killed on Thursday evening at his home and his body was discovered the following day at about 7 o'clock. JMPD forces taxi driver to wipe the road after urinating in public. The Johannesburg Metro Police Department, JMPD, has been uncompromising with regard to enforcing some bylaws concerning hygiene in the inner city, especially those urinating all over the CBD. Yesterday, Saturday, May 27th was no different as the JMPD officers forced a taxi driver to wipe off his urine after relieving himself in the inner city. We pay cash for videos. WhatsApp 060 011 021 1. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.